Namaste everyone and thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. So here in this one, I'm going to show you an Angular application, right? So basically it's a chatbot, which I have trained on some questions. And if I will ask those questions from the chatbot, it will give me the relevant answers. So let me first show you the questions which I have trained the chatbot on and then we will see how it works. Okay, so these are the questions as you can see it's in the form of a dictionary basically. So here we have some key value pairs. The key represents the questions and the value of these keys are the answers for these questions. Okay, now if I will pass hi to the chatbot, let's see with what it is going to reply to my message. Okay, uh, it seems as if it has stuck. Let me just pass the message again. Okay, so it has replied me with hello. And as you can see, H is in small of hello. Let's pass another message. Again, it is going to be high, but H this time is in capital. Okay, so here we have the similar answer, but H of hello is capital. Why? Because for this, the answer is this and for this question, the answer is this. Similarly, if I will pass, who are you? Let's see what is going to happen. So it has returned or you can say reply to this question with this answer. My name is Angular Boat. I have been designed by Mr. Gorm. Right. And if I will pass something which it doesn't have any information about. So then what is going to happen? Let's check it out. So if I pass something like this, which is not meaningful or for which it doesn't have an answer for. So let's see what is it going to reply. So it has replied us with this. I can't understand. Now, where is this coming from? So we have another key value pair where the key is default and the value for this key is I can't understand, which means that if the bot doesn't know the answer of anything or, uh, you know, if something is fed to the chatbot or if something has been asked to the chatbot and it doesn't have the answer to it or uh, it doesn't make any sense to the chatbot. So it is going to reply with this message to the user. Right, so this is how the chatbot works. Let's now talk about the coding part. So here, as you can see, we have three different applications, one with name chat, then we have this home and then sign in. Now for redirecting the user to these, uh, you know, components, we have created some routing paths over here. So this home is linked with the first button, which you can see on the top, then we have chat which is going to be uh, you know for this button which is for this button and then we have sign in which is for this button so if you click here on sign in the uh, user or you will get redirected you get redirected to the sign in component if you click on chat you get redirected to chat and if you click on home you get redirected to the home component we have a service here where we have defined some functions which is actually helping the chatbot in capturing the users, uh, uh, what we call it, users questions. And then accordingly, it is, uh, uh, you know, giving the answers to those, those questions. Now, how that phenomenon is happening in the backend, let me show that to you. So we have a variable named message map where we have passed a dictionary type of value, which has key value pairs in it. Right, then we have two functions over here uh, whose work is to capture the user message and then check for the relevant answers. Okay, in this message map and then, you know, return that answer to the, uh, you know, chatbot, which finally is showed to the user. Okay, so get bot mess message is a one which is responsible for returning the answer and get bot answer is the one which is uh, for capturing the message and then finding out the relevant answer for it. 
let's come on chat uh, application so here we have a ts module as you can see where we have three different uh, variables okay so uh, here we have subscribed to the chat service find conversation and we are taking the message from here which uh, you know we are getting from the get bot message method and then we are sending it okay we have a function called send message as you can see it is uh, uh, calling the get bot answer so what is this get bot answer it is this function right so this is where the get bot, bot answer is being called and then finally we are getting the value from it which is then passed to the template where it is finally showed to the user okay so this is how the chatbot has been developed i hope uh, you guys really liked it and you have understood the concept if you know angular definitely uh, you can try this application out and you'll be able to build it easily okay you can make it more intelligent by connecting it with a external website and then extracting the questions and answers from that website doing web scrapping right through api and uh, you know thereby you can expand the scope of your uh, you know chatbot that is one thing then next thing which i would like to tell you is uh, if you are new to angular you want to learn it you can contact me on the below number which is getting reflected on your screen if you're not able to see it just uh, check the description section you will find my number over there too so for any kind of help or for getting the tutorials on these things you want to learn these things or you want to become a coder you want to become uh, you know expert of coding definitely you can take my tutorials and they will be really helpful to you right thank you very much for being there with me in this tutorial i hope you guys really liked it please do not forget to like and share this video in your groups so as to make me reach to the maximum students possible right i want to reach to the maximum students why because you know i just want to uh, see you know what kind of uh, people are there in the world and what they actually want to learn today i know ai chat gpt these things are uh, becoming popular day by day even if these things you want to learn definitely i am one of the persons who can teach you these things in a very good way so just reach out to me on the below number and i'll help you out in understanding these concepts thank you very much bye bye take care and have a great great day ahead guys